Happy Spoopy Wheel. <laughs> So, you would like to be a clown? No, not a kid's birthday balloon animal blowing kind of clown. But also not the 2016 murderous American horror story scary it clown either. You, my dear, you want the charming enchantment of a sweet Victorian Pinterest Perrault French lost jester baby girl kind of clown. And well... This is just the scripture for you. My foolish friend, you've come to the right place. I'm going to show you piece by piece how to craft such a kind of costume. Beginning with a slew of all of the detailed elements and layers, I will explain and walk you through. You can feel free to pick and choose what you want to do, what you don't. I have many options, so if you don't have certain things, or you want to skip, or you're short on time, or you don't want to buy things, no worries. We will make it work for you today. So let's step into the fun house and I'll speak the most sweet silhouettes to search for, what to do with your makeup, how you can DIY a couple bits of this costume and get really down and dirty with your charismatic clown costume. You want to give good looks this Halloween and I want to help you do it. So now without further ado, let the show begin. Welcome to Act 1. I am unfortunately no makeup mogul, while I do have a hand-me-down Jeffree Star palette and a heavy screen time of YouTube makeup videos, I am simply a plebeian with a hobby for eternal and ethereal looks. Now, I know that you know that I know that I have been on Pinterest.com quite a while and seen the artistry of creative clown looks and I think that they all look gorgeous and difficult and I commend you for looking at these as well. I'll tell you for sure that it looks hard but it's really not. You really just have to believe in yourself and follow a photo. It's not a hairy situation that takes it just a little bit of practice and a good set of products to get down smoothly. To begin, you're gonna moisturize. If you want to, block down your brows, not required, but very nice. A white base, do your blush and your little clown nose. Some fun eye or eyebrow, a lip, and there you have it, basically. If you want more in-depth looks and tutorial on how to do the makeup, I have a video already on my page that you'll see in the corner here for some more description, product specifics, and application tips. So this is just the short and sweet, but basically find a picture you like on Pinterest and kind of recreate that look. I think there's a lot of fun looks with stars, with different eyebrows. You can go more simple, you can go more fun, you can go more monotone, more colorful. It's very much the world is your oyster. And then for me, I did these kind of low pigtail buns, but I think it's really good to do any kind of off of your neck kind of hairstyle so the ruff can really live its moment. So I think bubble braids, pigtails, low buns, bun braids, anything to kind of keep it off of your neck. You can really play with the hairstyles here. I do have linked below a Pinterest board with some more ideas on it if you want or you need some help finding some inspo, it'll be down there for you. Moving into act two, we're going to be making this rough a Victorian beautiful Shakespearean collar. Now, yes, you can buy the Amazon version or the Spirit Halloween, but who wants to spend money when you don't have to? You're really only going to need a couple of things for this, including a thinner wire edged ribbon. This is going to be the choker ish center where everything's getting attached to. Thick wired edge ribbon. This is going to be the main rough of the collar. You're going to need something to measure, a pencil, some kind of scissors, a needle and thread, or some kind of glue, and a way to close the rough. I'm using these stick-on Velcros. You can also use a snap, a safety pin, a button, whatever you fancy. This is kind of a demo, but you'll get the basic idea. I'm gonna mark every one and a half inches for 105 inches. It's about eight feet and nine inches and that's about 70 strips or 70 rectangles if you're looking at it that way on this thicker ribbon and then you're going to bend at each line 
bend up bend down bend up bend down like an accordion style and don't worry if it's a little pointy or if it's not the right shape you can obviously rebend the wire after the fact because you're going to be kind of manhandling it for a little bit so bend all of these and then at the same time you're going to want to cut out a ribbon for your collar mine ended up being about 12 and a half inches you can go ahead and measure your neck see if you need to change that for comfortability then you are going to sew or glue depending on what you want to do the ruffles onto that main piece i chose to hand sew the top and the bottom of each point of the ruffle because i found this to be the most secure and structurally sound way to do it because i found if i glued that the glue would either come undone or with a little bit of wear it would unstick and stick out strange so i recommend sewing if you're going to but again it's your choice and then to finish it off you can close it i chose to do three separate strips of this velcro at the top at the bottom and at the middle of the rough so that it would close behind your neck and there you have it that is your gorgeous gorgeous rough Again, like I said, there's other ways you can close it. You can do a ribbon. You can keep the neck ribbon a little extra long so it'll tie in a bow in the back. You can do safety pins. You can do button snaps. You can tape it together. You could just glue it onto yourself the day of if you really want. It's very much dealer's choice. Next up, we've got the hat. I cheated, okay? I am a faker. I bought these uh party hats a couple years ago for a party and i still had them lying around so i am going to be using this for my clown hat however if you do not have a party hat you can just roll up some paper and make a cone cut it and attach it to either a headband a hair clip or put some strings and tie it around your head you can really decorate this how you want i found the most fun and what really went with the look was these ruffles with a ribbon to kind of match the ruffled collar so i just again did like a little accordion fold and i used some double-sided tape or hot glue or whatever you want to attach and then of course a little pom-pom at the top next is the outfit you can really 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 have fun here because once you have the accessories specifically the rough i think really makes anything look kind of clowny you can really do whatever you want for the base outfit for me i did a white and red clown which warning if you do people may ask you if you're supposed to be the it clown even though this doesn't look anything like me right now so yeah you can do i'd say pick white as your base and then whatever color you want um you can either match your hat your pom-pom your shoes whatever you want to it i'd say keep white as the base and add something to it i really like the black and white clowns i think they're very cute and very fun but anyways the outfits all are about the proportions i think anything that's going to create a little outlandish unusual strange look is great so for me here i got this white swing coat that i found at the thrift store and i just had some pom-poms taped to the big buttons to match the pom-pom on my hat i've got a couple of arm warmers red tights to really color in the red and some little ballet slippers if you don't have a clowny shoe or a shoe that really looks right no worries a white sneaker will work too you can just wear like some kind of leg warmer or long sock to really make it make sense with the looks everyday man we've got a white button up the red tights no pants because I don't want to wear pants we've got this white skirt if you really have bloomers bloomers are really good for this and yeah you can really go crazy girl i really hope all of you are enjoying this halloween looks i love doing clown looks and i really want to see other people having fun with them because they are so customizable and fun i think my favorite part is probably the makeup and if you are not if you're not a makeup girly, there is no shame in that. It really is as simple as a white face with maybe some red lips. You don't really have to go crazy. White face, red lip, red nose, you're a clown. Like it's not that, it doesn't have to be that deep. If you wanna make it that deep, it is fun. But again, no pressure. It is a very simple and cute and fun look. 
I really, 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 really love my little clownies and I hope you do too. I hope you have a great Halloween season. I hope you have fun and I hope you try out this costume. If you do, be sure to tag me, send it to me, email me, DM me snail mail me i don't care i just want to see it please thank you like i said there's a pinterest linked below with some more looks for the fashion and some makeup ideas if you need some more inspo from here it's a good jump off point there's also linked below the video for the makeup if you need some more in-depth explanations i even will tell you a good product you can get for each part that's all I have for this video. Again, let me know what you're going to be for Halloween. I am so curious. If you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't like this video, give it a like. My name is Stephanie. This is Femme de Soup. This is my clown tutorial, and I hope you've enjoyed. That's all from me to you, my little soupy poopies. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah.